Digital signatures are typically added to a PowerPoint presentation when you want to be able to confirm your identity to the person you're sending this to. In other words, if I'm sending this to Bob and I say, I digitally signed this, and he gets it and my digital signature's not there, well then he cannot trust the presentation because maybe it was intercepted in the interim by somebody else and they made changes to it. Let me give you the definition, see if this makes sense. Digital ID confirms the identity of the person who sent the presentation, typically issued by a certification authority or CA, a trusted third party, this digital ID, and contains a serial number, digital signature of issuing authority, expiration dates, name and copy of certificate holder's public key, so the user can verify that the certificate is authentic. Once the signature is attached to this PowerPoint presentation, it cannot be modified that is the presentation without removing the digital ID first which is important because again if I'm sending this off to Bob and let's say Sue intercepts it and says oh my you know Bob can't see this let me make some changes to it to make changes she has to remove my digital ID in which case when she forwards it on to Bob and Bob gets it and says uh, Kurt this is from you right I say yes well I don't see your digital ID here then I could tell him don't trust it somebody intercepted it hijacked it made changes let me issue another one here in other words put a digital ID on the presentation again and send it off and hopefully nobody intercepts that. Now to go ahead and add a digital signature to this presentation here. Come up here, click on the office logo button, go down to prepare, and then click on add a digital signature. Again, this ensures the integrity of the presentation by adding an invisible digital signature. Well, it won't be invisible, I'll show you how to view it. Click on it. Microsoft gives you a little disclaimer here. You can either go ahead and click OK to continue or use the signature services from the Office Marketplace. Again, using a third party certification authority to get your digital signature. Otherwise, you can just use the internal one here on this computer, which means that when you digitally sign this, it only applies to this computer. For example, click OK and it says in order to sign a Microsoft Office document you need a digital ID. You have two options. You can get a digital ID from a partner or you can create your own. Now if you create your own other people will not be able to verify the authenticity of your signature. You will however be able to verify the authenticity of your signature but only on this computer. So if you want to go global on this, send it to somebody else on their computer then you're gonna to have to go to a Microsoft partner here and I guess pay a nominal fee maybe to get the digital ID for this example, I'm just going to create my own. And the reason being is because each partner is going to be different as far as obtaining the digital ID. But once you get it, this is how you'd set it up. So click OK. I'm going to type in or enter in the information that I want to be included in my digital ID, like my email address, organization, location. Once I'm finished, click Create. Now it's got my digital ID set up and all I have to do is just say what's the purpose for signing this presentation. I can just say something like for review by click sign and I'm done. Your signature has been successfully saved with this document. If the document is changed your signature will become invalid. Click OK. Two things. First of all over to the right we have the task pane where it says signatures here. If I close out of it and I want to bring it back up down on the window frame you have the little signature uh, icon it says this document contains signatures click on that once and it brings up the task pane in which case I can click on the drop down arrow look at the signature details or remove it now like I said if I come in here and I try to make changes I can not hit the delete key nothing in fact you can see up here on the ribbon that the formatting features have been disabled so I send this off to somebody once they get it if the signature has been removed then they know they can't trust this but again since I created it on this computer and I didn't use a Microsoft third-party vendor to obtain this digital signature it's not gonna work when I give it to somebody else on their computer but if it's on this computer and somebody comes in and removes it and says yes click OK well all I have to do is look down here in the window frame there's no digital signature icon so I can't trust it somebody removed it may have made changes to the PowerPoint presentation which you can see right here that when you click in here you now have access to all the formatting features now once you create that digital ID you can now add it and sign other PowerPoint presentations so for example I removed it from this presentation but I can quickly sign it again by clicking on the office logo down to prepare click on add a digital signature click OK it doesn't bring up that little box that says do you want to get a digital ID from a Microsoft partner or do you want to just go ahead and create one on your own it's already been created it's on my computer all I have to do is just say what's the reason for signing this or just click sign click OK opens up the task pane there's my digital signature down below it's got the little icon that says this document contains it so if I click on it 
it disappears, click on it again, it brings up the task pane of the digital signature. Now, if I want to click on the drop down arrow here and view the signature details, and let's say I misspelled the name, the company, things like that, and I want to change this, click close. Let me go ahead and remove the signature and say yes and click OK. Well, the only way to change it is to either wait for the expiration of your signature when it runs out, or actually delete the signature that's stored on your computer. So, for example, minimize the PowerPoint program double click on computer, double click on the C drive, go to the users folder, double click on that, and of course whatever user name you logged under, which in this case is training, double click on that. Now you want to go to the application data folder, and this application data folder is hidden by default. The only way to view it is to come up here on the tools menu, go down to folder options, go to the view tab, and down here, see where it says hidden files and folders? you want to show that and then click OK. In fact, all of this is in my Windows Vista Level 1 training video. You want to watch it. But in any case, to continue on, double click on Application Data, double click on Roaming, go to Microsoft, double click on that. We're getting closer now. There's the System Certificates, double click on that, double click on My, double click on Certificates, and there it is. Select it, hit the Delete key, say Yes. In fact, let me maximize the window here. Click on the folder, and you can see the address. C users, the username that you log into, application data roaming. Make mental note of that in case if you want to use this. Close out. Maximize the PowerPoint presentation, office logo to prepare. Add a digital signature, click OK. Then it says, OK, you deleted your old digital ID. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one, click OK, and then go ahead and type in your name, email address. Be sure to type it in correctly so you don't have to go back and delete it and do this over again and then finish up with creating your signature, sign your PowerPoint presentation, and you're on your way. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.